everybody, Pro Trader Mike. Hope you had a wonderful day today. And if I didn't speak to you earlier, I had a great night last night. Wishing you a profitable trading day. Why? We try to do that and we do every single day. Yeah. Cheers. Got a nice fresh pot of, not Starbucks, but my own brew. Mm. Always got to be prepared for the Mojo Show. So today's show, Top Ships, The Shipper. Moving in today's market. Why is it moving so much? Why? I'll show you why. You may be surprised. You may be surprised. Let's go check it out. Alrighty, we got here the Mojo Day Trading Room with a lot of activity in the room today. A couple new traders, welcome to the room. Hi, Alan. He's gone already up top, and Gerardo's already made a great amount of money for today. He's probably on the beach. And Pro Trader Joe, dude, that guy's been with the Mojo team for more than five years. He mentioned it last night. I saw on Twitter. I want to thank you for that, Joe. And Pro Trader Mar, awesome. He's Idle, he's had an amazing day as well. Just my top moderating crew that's there to beware uh, in the mojo room. Let me show you right here. You know, I tell you it's there. Let me show you my uh, one of my notifications from Joe. There we go. One another great swing trade. There's Joe right there. He's been with the mojo team for five years, man. Great swing pick, thanks. If you make it eleven hundred dollars a day, you'd be at four hundred and one thousand for the year. Not not bad for an hour a day. And there's my boy Renteria. Uh, thank you, Joe. Appreciate that, man. He's been with the Mojo team for five years, helping out the Mojo, man. Real deal, Joe. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Where did I see that five-year thing? I saw that somewhere, man. But I want to thank you for that. So let's scroll back and check out what action happened in the mojo. I lost big today, this morning on the first trade. I got locked out, actually. Hit my daily loss for the day really fast. So I got knocked out pretty quick, but the rest of the room didn't do anything stupid like I did. I was way too aggressive, way stupid. And you do that. So four days earlier, and I'll show you the profits that were made in intain to the losses that were made. So you have a good idea. Did that in the mojo room today. So it is a lot of action. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Right here. You guys trying that new trick? See how fast it's scrolling? I'm not even pressing on the mouse. So this was today at 10.05. You press the uh, scrolling wheel on your mouse. You press it and it becomes like a circle. And then you just push the mouse higher. And look how fast it scrolls. Isn't that unbelievable? So today at 9.30, came in on the day and nailed Crone. And I got locked out on that. So I got sold out. Now it's going to spit on me. They got me at 9.37. My cost was 68. A lot of people's was 68. Um, due to terrible trading. Size at 9.02. Then it went uh, 45, 50, and 50. Uh, he lost on the trade. He's in the trade. And he's in at 79. And then it goes 60. He's in at 81. It goes all the way back. All the way back to 55 to 60. And it came mostly back. And then Rentheria made $686.65 trading for the day at 9.41 a.m. Very nice. Uh, then right there, it went 9.50. Uh, to 70. It's at 70 now. Oh, different number. That's a different one. Here we go. 935, 45, 40, 44. Where is it at now? 870. So here it goes 50, 55. 
and then we get into a HEPA. It's moving very fast through four. So you're in HEPA very fast through four. He got in at 83, 382, and it's 428. 429, so this HEPA, H-E-P-A, was a big mover this morning. H-E-P-A, let's take a look at that. Number one gainer on the NASDAQ, currently at 376. Well, let's take a look at this morning. So here's the move this morning. Right here. So the stock did a bounce, bounce, bounce right here. Here is 930, 940, 945, 950, 955, and then it takes off from a low of 380 where Alan got it. And then it takes all the way off to a high of 558 straight up run on HEP. And there actually was the most volume I've seen going in crazy on a stock so hard and fast how it kept on moving hey auto what's up bruce wayne what's going on guys on youtube if you want me to check out any stocks for you just let, tell me the symbol i'll do a buy and sell and a hold for you just like kramer uh this stock goes 440 and alan did great on it and crone's back up to 954 uh, I messed up the morning because I went way too aggressive. Uh, shrug it off. It happens to all of us. Absolutely. Yep. I'll show you in a little couple of posts the calculation of the profit and the loss, how you should run the business. Uh, and I didn't do it good today. Banks, banks, bank. Uh, Bimmy makes a run from 560, high is 70, and then it goes 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 97. Bimmy was a nice move today. Went through six. Uh, right there, boom. So we're selling through six right there. So I told you when to buy. Images are going up, went to sell right there at 19, done. Great job on... Um, Bimmy and then Crone got in 918 to 20, added 25 and sold it on 30. Uh, and HEPA through four again, right there, beautiful. Uh, and then Crone again, 914, 917, 918, 920, 20, a nice run. HEPA new high coming at 435. Heth new 35 high came and went 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85 without stopping on HEPA. An animal straight up on HEPA. This is a rail grind. So the stock came up here. We were in it. So you're in it. Don't look at anything else but this line. It created above the stochastics and the STO. And as long as it stays above that, this is the one minute chart. You stay in it. And it did that run tremendously. Right to four to five. Never seen such buy volume going in at this particular level at this particular time. It was 490 by 94. You'd never believe in your mind it would go through. It goes 495 to 498. We're going to Heinz it here to go through $5. And there it goes. 507 by 511. Great money made in the mojo room right there at 10 20 a.m you don't got to look at nothing you go on your keyboard you press sell 507 511 you're out mojo gave it to you right down there uh, beautifully at 450 and below and now it's 50 cent move and there you go uh, 518 by 19 sold right into the high of 523. i didn't want to i was off the mic i didn't want to come in and ruin the run, so I stayed off the mic and I was just doing it in the chat, banging and forth. And then this guy came in, what's the play? And I just told him we did HEPA from 470 and actually a little below it at 530. Uh, Crone I like there at 915. Uh, Bimmy at 527 and SES below 950. Crone dropped right there, started trading it around there. 
Uh, Hepa Hepa Power did really, really nice. UVXY, we traded that one as well. Hepa was the big money maker, and Alan called it a day right there at 10.30 in the morning. 10.30, bud. You got a lot of nice power on, on that. Great job. And then Hepa hit 5.40. I'm not in it, but Gerardo is 545. Then Crone makes a nice move, 885, 889, 929 has a signal right there on Crone. So Crone, very nice trade after the loss and the comeback beautifully. Uh, had two more trades for Renteria. What a beautiful week. Made a 1,119.96. He's probably on the golf course right now. Uh, making moves and doing great things because that's what he likes to do after he makes some money uh, in the mojo room. So I'm live now. You want to know when I go live, just subscribe down in the corner where the heart is. You see the heart right there is the subscribe. <laughs> Beautiful. So he nailed a thousand dollar gain and we just started trading just great in the room. Great in the room. Great in the room. They're trading spy. I'm not. I'm calling out on that spy that they're watching along on UVXY instead right here and UVXY makes it a tremendous run. Uh, $21.90, $22 on UVXY right there. Beautiful move. All righty, guys. So we nailed right here a little later in the day. Uh, coming up on UV, we started drawing. What does that look like? This bottom circles, and it's a base right along there. I think it looks like a car. Will it take off from that bottom and hold those bottom bases at twenty-one fifty-nine? That's the trade right now. Here's Gerardo's picture of it. He thought it was nice with some eyes and some happy, happy. Right there, and then it went 2155, 2158, 2160, 2162, and then ASMB, a pick by Ramey at 1750, is moving. And ASMB at 1750 actually happened to be an amazing pick that went to 1862. Nailed it right there up to the high of 1862. Ramey did great job as the picks are flying in the room. So this went through 18 on ASMB. Great job, kind of cray cray. How it went 18, 1830, and 1850 for a straight ass touchdown. Absolutely. Oh, great pick. Great pick. And then we're going to get into UVXY again at 2160. Doing some work outside. Sorry for the noise in the background, folks. But, uh, you know, you still understand what's going on and how we're doing it. UVXY, great pick right there. See how you're in the chairlift? You go up on the chairlift right there, and you're going to start skiing at 2172 into 22. Shall Allah it go? Just like a perfect rail grind right there. I mention it every day when you watch my show, guys. That's how you stay in that sucker. So let's see if it does that. Uh, and here it goes. It's rail grinding right here. So if you want to take a look, oh, I think I have my thing. You start right here in the... Uh, Ballet. and you have the line these are all people right here and they're going to go into the house onto the lift and then here's the chair lift and you got this line going up right here and then you have all the people on the chair lift and you're just going up you're on you're up you're in you're up and all of a sudden you get to the top right here and it goes 80%. That's the 80% on the stochastics. And then that thing goes to the right. And as long as it keeps on running and it's going into 22, so that's pulling it like a magnet, you should be able to get it up to 22. And this will continue to go to the right. 
and now you're skiing every time it does a bump like it'll go to the make this is one of them you did a trick right off that's like a double back flip or a or a rally to a you know uh tap 360 on then you come to the next one down here and then you're waiting for the next rail to come and the next jump and that's called the rail grind and it goes 2178 2180 2185 2190 like a beast came in like a wrecking ball see that came in like a wrecking ball in the mojo room so you're getting laughs you're making money there and crone again may sequence up to nine from 875 if it goes 880 plus and 886 889 signals there there it goes 881 882 textbook mojo university right there with the signal at 79 blew right through that signal right there at 79 and went right 85 86 for textbook mojo university trade 889 888 it's going to blow through those signals right there on the right on the level two. And I know it's going to 90, 91. And there it goes. 90, 91 selling right there. Half. Dude, great trades, man. Great trades. Sequencing up, baby. That's what we do. 890, 891. Size was taken. Textbook Mojo University. 894, 894. Cross market tug of war. You're out. Great job. Great job. At 929, there's a 377 sitting there. You can see him right there. Off balance on the CBOE at 856 with a 599, wanting 60,000 shares. He's wanting 37,700 at 929. When he becomes the solo guy there on the right, it'll go higher. UV through 2197 into 22. There's a la rail grind heading up higher. Big ski slope up on UV right there. As the spy continues to go lower and UV heads right through 22, selling right here, sold 2204. So I told you exactly when to sell, as I told you exactly when to buy. What do you need screen share for? Just listen to my voice and watch the screenshots come into the room. It's what I do every day for the last seven years, every day, every day. <clears throat> I liked work, keep an eye on it. And here we go, WWR 368. I like the WWR. It made a move actually from there through 370 on a nice cup and handle <clears throat> into the rail grind right there. We're keeping an eye that it may go higher into 380. It has potential. I wrote it right there. It's got some potential. And then here it goes, 69. Here's on the move, 70. And then Crone right here again at 883. Ramey lost big on it today just like I did. I got locked out on Crone. It stumped me because I got way too aggressive too early. I made so much on stocks in the last three days. I thought I was invincible. I thought no matter what size I went, and I just keep on pressing 10, 20,000 shares. The thing's going to run 30, 40 cents. I'm going to make $5,000 on a clip, $10,000 on a clip. And I did it 40 times. I'm like, dude, this is for 41. Here's 42. Here's for I'm invincible. So the big size, it was documented. What happened was Crone this morning had gonzos, big, huge bids that we thought were kind of like support or something like that, but they were the textbook mojo huge signals. And the bigger the signal was corresponding to the volume that Crone was trading. So lost 15% of the winnings in one stupid trade. The comeback is always greater than the setback. Too many days of feast and party. We was a little, what I call, trade drunk. Hashtag. Okay. There you go. A little trade drunk. So let me show you what the, the kind of viability is. <clears throat> As a toy company, Jax. I wrote it right down here. So let's say Fitbit. Yeah, it's going to Heinz. Look for those moves, new traders. That's all you got to do. Logan alerted you right there at 4397. And then look, top ships starting to make its move. You alerted right there at 420. 480 mojo action now in the day. So you take that trade too. <clears throat> you put in 100 shares, couple hundred shares, or whatever it may be. And then you got great trading and look at the monster signal. So if I pulled right there and I said, look at the chart on Fitbit. You ain't going to buy. And now there's 
some buyers on the bid, but there's a seller on the ass for 155,000 shares. <clears throat> would you buy that? And you know how many traders would say no? All of them. They'd all be wrong. Look, 401. Look at the time, 1217. Look at the time in the same minute. 1217, huge lesson and a re-lesson today happening. Okay? Awesome week. I'm going into all, I got into all four swing picks and I'm in EXPR. And then it goes 401, 402, 403, 404. Tight power of Heinz right there. And did you know the Heinz trade play? Because mojo traders do, it works every time. 404, 405. Here's the green bars. Look at all those green bars on Fitbit. Look at the rail grind here going across on Fitbit. Look. Look at this rail grind. The stock is green, staying above that blue line, which is the moving average line. See that? These are all little guys on the chairlift. Look, look at all these little boxes. They take you right up, guys. Look at that. Takes you right up, boys. Alan. Let's watch a little rail grind. What's up, y'all? I drove all the way to Orlando, Florida for Cirque Expo, and unfortunately it got blown out due to Hurricane Aww, Maria. So, dude. Sam and Dave AB drove out here to Valdosta. Let's back, check it out. Back lip, back 270 out. Back lip, back 270 out. Beautiful. So they have tons of rails in the corners here. They have like almost this water tank right there. Nice little tail. Tail grab, beautiful. And I don't know, I'm just going to try out this pool gap thing. I haven't really touched it yet. Pool gap. So I'm gonna tow back three in and then hit one of those rails. Tow back three in, 360 in. Three back board. 270 out. 270 out. Sweet. And uh, back lift is rainbow. Beautiful. We're going to lift up the pipe and then 270 into the pool. 50-50. Backside three. Nice. Backside 360. Tail grab, nose dragger. Tail grab, nose grind. Touches the nose on that bubble. Beautiful. Nose grab, Moby Dick on this left kicker. Moby Dick coming. Here comes a beautiful Moby. Look at that. Holy mamacita. We gotta watch that again. Dude, he's upside down flipping, baby. Look at that. Beautiful. That's packed. This is a guy that's been a pro doing it his whole life for a long, putting in the engine hours, just like a pro trader in the mojo room. Look at that. Smooth. Like it's nothing. Another one off the kicker, Indy to roll blind. He fell. See? They all fall, dudes. So even he had a many, many great runs. Many, many great runs. JB, just like myself, you know, he's a pro. I'm a pro. You know, I banged it out. Killed it in the last couple of weeks and days in the uh, day trading room with moves like this. Let's see right here. Come on, screen. Come on, screen. Here we go. Not working. Oh, well, there we go. I had to press the button. So, amazing. Let's scroll forward. Lunchtime. What's the Heinz trade play? 
and here's tops. So we call in tops at 440, makes a huge, huge, huge run. And Dean comes back. But I want to show you the uh, loss calculator. It was 100K. Let's just search for that. 10K first. Here it is. Right here. So if you make $10,000, in profits in two days or a day. You can give back a thousand to two thousand dollars. That should be your maximum on a stupid mistake. You can write that down. If you make a thousand dollars on a trade and you go in, you try to think you're invincible, you lose a hundred to two hundred dollars. If you made a thousand dollars of profit made a hundred dollars of profit go ahead and screw up and give back 10 or 20. we've done it in the poker tables we've done it in the trades you're invincible you do it in the slot machines you win you go up to a bigger one and you give back some you want a thousand then you move to a bigger slot and you give back 300 you're like maybe i should leave with 700 right if you make $100,000, you can give back ten dollars or $20,000 of that, and you can live another day. If you made a million dollars, you can give back 100000 or 200000 Because if you made a million, you made ten or $20,000 losses, $30,000 losses, $40,000 losses on one trade if you made a million. And I have a trader in here that made $2 million trading these stocks right here. It was yesterday. I'm speechless listening to you on the microphone. I don't use screen share. Never have. He's been with Mojo Day Trading since 2014. He was on Blog Talk Radio, Pro Trader Mouse. And he's already made millions of dollars in the room. And this is him continuing to do the same thing. He doesn't need to screen share. The lessons he's learned, I've taught, are priceless still to this day. I've held back from chat for some time. I'm behind the scenes. This week I had it was a record week for me on Vive. I had the confidence to get 100,000 shares below four. Unbelievable. We saw him buying it, and someone was buying it. And then $9, he woke up and sold them for a $100 million profit. Yes, on your picks, SES, WWR, BIMI, DTSS, and now Vive, along with BNGO he was in. I'm saying thank you. There you go. And I know he had Crone, and he woke up this morning to a huge profit in the Crone. Okay? So that was that. Amazing. What froze? SCS is frozen. 880. 876 by 80 on SCS. So let's check out HEPA. 377 by 80. ASMB 1645. Very volatile markets. SCS is fine. Let's just take a look at Chrome. 877 has come back up. Is at 880 now, making a run towards the end of the day. Right here, if it crests above eight, and that's nine fifty, it's got a long way to go, dudes. It came off of uh, nine fifty. Uh, what is that? No, I'm on the wrong side of the channel. Hold on. There we go. So it just made a move beautiful since in the last eight sixty two. It's at eight seventy eight. Could go really lot uh, close a lot higher than that. Let's check out top ships if we don't may, because top ships may go again. And that's really the topic of today's show, is the top ships. Not the stupid trades and the losing, even though it's a good lesson. EOPS, I always learn good lessons. 442 by 444, it actually has come down since this unbelievable run-up. So right here, just like Vive, this is a great buy, because tomorrow... Could easily test five dollars. I was told in the Mojo Day trade room that 
Dry Ships was bought out and is now private and doesn't even trade. I mean, Varinga. I mean, Varinga. It's not Dry Ships. It's Varinga. Remember that? Varinga trades just like Varinga. D-R-Y-S. <clears throat> so Dry Ships right here. Yeah, it's 524. No bid and no ask. <clears throat> now it's just completion of its acquisition by SPII Holding. So maybe that all the money now is flowed. Look at the Eagle Shippers up a little bit. Top Ships up 6%. What about Sino, S-I-N-O? Sino Bulk Shippers, S-I-N-O right here. Sino is up 3% to 77 cents. So you got another one right there. So let's check it out. I had this newsletter that I send out every Sunday. Welcome Jill to the newsletter. So glad to have you. You're going to get a newsletter just like this. It's a PDF. It comes in PDF format. This is my PowerPoint for it. But you'll see my slides right here. Okay. This is the Swing Trade newsletter. And if we scroll down to the comic strip, it's funny. Every week I put out a sweet comic strip like this one. Superman talking to Batman saying, That last pick was not from Pro Trader Mike. Bet I asked somebody. So why did I pick Top Ships? Take a look. My next slide is this one. And the next first top pick, the first one, and then the second one is Vive. Tops is for $4 and Vive is for 4 Vive went to 10 10 Yes. $10. We'll talk about Tops, but Vive... Went from 323. Well, yes, yes. Sunday night pick right there. It says it. I'm pointing to my Heinz 4 plate take first. It's the gap up through 420 where we already sold it once. Such a small float of 460,000 and 1.46 million in the float. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Risk in 10 yes, cents. Baby. Yes. Well, yes. I got guys that woke up that made thousands of dollars. Put Three grand in it, five grand in it, and turned it into fifteen, twenty thousand. Yeah. Look right here in the room. Go into my uh, swing trading right here. I shall go into my message. This guy spoke to last night right here. This guy, look, magic money on the vibe. Thanks, thanks on the vibe. What about Rento? Rento couldn't believe he had 500 shares of Vive and woke up the next morning still with 500 shares of Vive at $10 with an email from me waking him up. What a wake up, right? What a wake up. Jill, welcome to the newsletter. Let me show you my... Uh... You wake up in the morning. You're a part of the newsletter. And you get this email from me. Viva, va viva loca, baby. 10.50. 200% winner. It's 8.30 in the morning and, you ha and you're getting your coffee going. Oh, my goodness gracious. Jill's like, new member. Oh, I just bought Vive. He told me at $3. Here's the picture of it. Time stamped everything. I got it in my portfolio. I got 10 shares. I got 100 shares. I got 1,000. <clears throat> Dude, I've been with Mike for five years. I love this pick. I already sold it with him at four. I'm going to have the comp. I'm going to get 100,000 shares as it goes near four. 
And I woke up the next morning and it was $10. My $400,000, see it, is now worth a million. Whoa, you're like, no way. And it's got the volume. I got 100,000. It's traded 2 million already. I got the volume to get out above 10. Bang, zoom. That's the email you got from me. Viva exactly one week later after adding Sunday is now at 1050. 200% winner for the mojo. Go do your thing like a chicken wing. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Better ask somebody. So that one moved like mojo, no, like no other. And then Top Ships, my number one pick. I said, dude, watch. And this one I said was going to go parabolic. You got to get in before it goes par. And there's a difference between that one and this one, which just means, if you know what I mean, it's going to come off the sandbar. That's my analysis. But this one, this one, the Viva, Viva Viva, Viva Loca is, gone, is a parabolic. My description right there. 339. So we got the top ships at 330. First take is the fill to five because there's a gap. So it's going to fill this and it is this gap to five. I have a feeling the shippers will do well this week and they have found the sandbar. And it's time to come off if you know what I mean. Floats 1.95 million, risk a dime, reward 50 cents. It's huge. Yes. <clears throat> so, excuse me, a little bit. In congestion for my son came home and gave me a cold. Got an earache. Off. Thanks, my man. So, yeah, that's the top ship. So, congratulations on that. Both of them were sold already for profits. Mike, yes, there were four picks. That's correct. Richard Fleet, been watching your videos for some time. You're the real deal, I must say. I definitely need a mentor like that. I've basically blown my account. Well, I will help you. Battered confidence. You just need a solid game plan like I told new trader Dean today in the Mojo room. Uh, Mr. Let me just go to my uh, show you what I'm talking about right here. This way I could see what you guys got going on on the screen. So he says right here, been watching my videos for some time. Great job on HEPA, Bruce. Uh, that's Pro Trader Gerardo. Been watching my videos for some time. I thank you for saying I'm the real deal. You need a mentor that's basically, uh, you need a game plan like I did Dean today. You know, okay, and he's going to these. Uh, he's in trade, live trade, Sykes, Bond, Warrior. He's in all of them currently, and he's in me as well. And dude, he's really seeing the difference in the light. So definitely, I'll show you. Hold on. Right here, Dean, and I did a little, because he was here before, because he was here before, Dean. So, welcome back, buddy. So this guy, Dean, new to the room right here, thank you. I mentioned to him, listen, no matter what you're down or what you have, this is a new start. It's like you're a truck driver and you're laying down the new road one brick at a time. You're laying down the brick and then you're going to drive that road. You're going to build it and drive it every day and just build it consistently. Do five Heinz trades a day. 
make a hundred dollars on the win, fifty dollars on the loss, or even a hundred on the win and a hundred on the loss. If you're real bad, go a hundred on the win and two hundred on the loss. Do ten of them a day. Because if you mess up, you'll mess up bad. Give yourself some leeway in the beginning and make yourself stupid for losing twice as much as you gain. But the win rate on the trade when you do it right is over 90%. So let's say you lose on two of them. You lose $400. You win on eight of them. That's $800. You're up 400 on the day. And you messed up pretty bad. You'll say, damn, that was a pretty good round of golf, man. But on hole eight, I shanked it in the freaking water and I triple bogeyed. On hole 16, I have no idea what happened, dude. I triple bogeyed again, but I shot a 73 for the day. It's a pretty good one over par. Still in the game, and that's what you do. And you, then you clean up those mistakes, and you don't go 200 a loss. You go 100 and 100 and 100, and now you have $200 in losses and $800 in wins. You make 600 for the day. You ain't paying commission. Zero commission everywhere you go. Rebuild the brick one at a time. Everything else you do is for fun if you don't follow the Heinz trade. Don't look at what I'm doing. Don't look at Alan, Mar, Gerardo, or anybody. Follow that one trade. Rebuild it for yourself. There's a lot of things buzzing and blinking. Everyone's trading, doing this, doing it. Do the Heinz when it's mentioned. Press the button. It's called positive expectancy. You won't believe it's going to go through, but it is, and you'll make money, and you'll rebuild one by one by one. Okay, so let's go back to the main screen. Right there. I'm sure none of them have taken a new person. Okay. I've joined so many crews, it feels like I'm a sailor without a compass, hoping, hopping from island to island. Correct. Because they have a strategy of sailing that they think is correct. And you just keep on swimming around. When the strategy is the compass and the system is the map. So you have the map. And then you're using the compass, which is the strategy, to get you through to the way your destination is. If you only have a compass, but no map or system to follow, you're going to be going in circles. Gerard, so I'm sure none of them have taken Mojo under their wing and personal level. How Mike and I will. Knowledge, priceless. I encourage you. Ask Dean. We spoke on the phone today for 30 minutes. I gave him a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Right here, he went to Mojo Day Trading. Right there, uh, he clicked Day Trading. And he discovered a system that can kick the market's ass. Imagine if you had a system where it was like almost impossible to lose money. Every time you place that trade, it won. My challenge to my students over the last seven years, show me a Heinz trade that hasn't worked. You won't be able to do it. As long as it has the principal characteristics of the setup you'll learn in Mojo University, it, the trade will work. How much would you pay for that system? I'm giving it to you for free as long as you become a member of the chat room so we could trade together and I could coach and mentor and get to know you. The proof is in the pudding every day with traders like Alan, Rentaria, already made 279643 Go add in the last couple of weeks and months, all those little screenshots. I'm sure he's well over a half a million right now. And traders like Lizzie, who don't speak often, like Pro Trader Mouse, another amazing swing pick. What a month. Several years of subscriptions in an hour. Big, huge trader. Been with me for six years. Why? Because it's results-oriented and I'm making money for everyone. Now, I'm not bragging because it's not about me. It's about you who's tired of losing money on trades and paying for high education. If you want to stop wasting your time, you'll take the Mojo online day trading course. It's yours for free. You join for $149 a month and start watching the courses immediately. That's the course. It's normally $2,000, $1,497 for the online, but I'm going to give it to you for free. 
even if you are one of the statistics of nine out of 10 that fail, because you didn't know your firm and your broker's trading against you, the market makers are trading against you, and your own chat room moderator's trading against you. Dude, it's pretty damn difficult to win if you don't got that map, no matter what compass you got. I back tested and retested this system over and over, and it just plain works. That's it. You need it. I've got it done. Click yes, become a trader. You get the online trade room. You'll be in there tomorrow. You're going to get my videos, which I do every day. You're going to get the trading course right there. And, and, and scroll down 50 aha moments. I already got a testimonial today on my first aha moment. Excuse the noise in the background, folks. Let me show you the testimonial I just got within the last two hours of a new person watching the, uh, the course here. Mojo U testimonial. Here we go. I got five of them today. This first one just came in right here and it says fantastic lesson. It just came in at 158. Uh, this is right here. Uh, the next one right here. Well, My first big aha moment was learning that big ass in the level two lead to price increases. I've been thinking the opposite. I'm so glad I ran across Mojo Trading Room. I'm extremely confident that following your system will allow me to reach my goals. I can't wait to start doing the Heinz. What on relief? That was great stuff. On to the next lesson. Uh, good, good stuff. I find your style entertaining too. So I could tell that's probably the same guy moving on through the lessons. So you're going to get 50 aha moments. This is the class you watch first, the October 2017. Then watch the February 2018. You'll have 50 aha moments. I guarantee you after our one-on-one -on -one consultation and our coaching sessions, you, and, I, and I'll tell you, you get a, 30, a full money back guarantee, no problem. But I tell you, just like Dean was telling me, he's a top, used to be a top, a refrigerator guy, an electrician, and he's was top in his field. He's trained and mentored a lot of guys underneath him. And I'm like, exactly. Those guys wouldn't want to learn from a guy, from uh, a plumber. He, they want to learn from a guy, an electrician, a guy who works for refrigeration, who's been gets paid top dollar per hour. That could show them the ropes. So someday they'll have a, a a fraction of what you do, and you'll be amazing. You do a fraction of what they got going on and you do amazing. Here's a little thing. Let's see if I have right here. Look, check it out. If you want to become successful, bro, check it. Let me get rid of my chat viewer. Look, if you want to become successful, find someone who's achieved the results you want and just copy them. And you'll achieve similar results. Michael Rich, not Tony Robbins, dude. Michael Rich, not Tony Robbins. So if you come up right here, you'll see. Oh, where is that? Right here. Michael Rich. Look, let's see if you could change. Let's see if you could change. You ready? Here you go. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. IN73, LLIG3, NC3, 1570H, Flability, 70, Adapt to Change. Michael Rich, intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. Do it, use it. Don't abuse it. Be humble and make money every day. EXPR, beautiful. Number three. Number three pick on the list right here from 295 got sold today, 330. Beautiful, half the position of that left right there. CSLSD in the 80s, sold 85, 86, half left on that. Beautiful moves. 
I'll take you right to the swing portfolio right here on my Google Drive. CLSD down here, Clearside Medical sold at 87 for a 14.47% gain. EXPR from 285 on 10.6 newsletter sold $3.40 on 1017. Vive Medical from 350 to 1050 for a 200% ripper. And tops from 335 to 420 sold it, even though it's at 480, gone at 420 the other day. Because that's what we do and how we do it, baby. And I'd love for you to be in part of the team, taking advantage of it, whether it's day trading, swing trading, or both. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, because it's chicken wing dinner, winner, winner, baby. Let's see what we got going on into the close. We got HEPA. 370 dead dog in the water closing right here base and bottom down here at the close with a bunch of nothing just like bimmy wwr and all the other crappers that have crapped out from the highs everybody's just moving on from herd to herd different stock to different stock and that's how you have to be nimble and jimble there's atis piece of crap SES, $9. Just made a huge move, holy crap, from $8.85 to $9.85. It just ran a point and dropped a point in 10 minutes. That's someone's win and someone's big loss, baby. Let's go see in the mojo room if they won on that. You guys trade that, man? SES? Sweepy, did you? Ooh, Sweepy. SES. SES, Sweepy. Nope, good. <laughs> Glad. <laughs> you did? Did you make money, Sweepy? Through Heinz, hopefully. Heinz only. Bears up. Yes, nice. Only through Heinz. What was your trade? What was your trade? Eight, eight ninety through nine. Please tell me you're learning. Yes, yes. Let me hear the print. What what was it? You're brand new to the room. Show everyone how you did it, where maybe in the old days you wouldn't have been on that track waiting for Heinz. Explain to everybody, please. You're brand new to the room. And you've watched some of the courses. Tell everybody. That would be wonderful. Nice, and today you'll watch more courses. Positive expectancy, very proud of you, very nice. Good job, sweet. Yeah, you want to know anything about UVXY, Mark? And, and you got to always consult with Saywin. Saywin has one eye, and the eyebrow has a tattoo on it, says UVXY, like it's like shaved the U, the V on his eyebrow. Have you ever seen a picture of? One's UVXY and the other's TVIX. Like he's like, dude, master. One, boom, one eye on that one, eye, dude, masterful. Guy trades it like you want to know. But what? Oh, nope, no buy right now. Up oh, UVXY, say went up. Oh, yeah, dude. Now's the Heinz in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just like they're saying it right now. Why are they saying it now? Is it near going near 22? Let's see. Yup. 2180, 2185. Look, it's popping. Look, look, it's popping. You see what it's also doing? That's the one minute. So we switch to the five minute and it's in rail grind. Look, you get into the house. Whoa, oh boy, what was that? Oh, there. So you get in. You get in and it's in a rail right there. Ooh. You get in the house down here 
And now look, you're riding that rail, riding that rail. Look at it's going, it's going. You're in that baby. That's how it's done. Oh, a la mojo. Textbook, got to go into the clothes. Make sure we're flat on everything going into the clothes. Make sure we're flat on everything going into the clothes. 2188, 2190. And after our saving, it'll be $30. It'll jump $4. But we got to be flat going into the clothes. So we do in the mojo room. So guys, thank you so much for trading. Thanks for learning why top ships came off the sandbar and the shippers work. I just had that feeling and it's overdue for the shippers. So if you ever want, you don't have that feeling, but you need the feeling, come to the Mojo chat room with the Swing Trade newsletter. Just subscribe and you'll get that Mojo feeling. But until then, peace. Keep it profitable. Two minutes to the close. Later, I'll see you in the morning where well, we're going to have another great day. Why? Because we do that every single day. Peace. Keep it later, later, later.